46th meeting of the Council of the Country Leaders of the Commonwealth of Independent States came to an end in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Presidents met at a small roundtable and discussed ways to further develop cooperation. Later, the heads of the governments and countries gathered at an enlarged meeting where they considered two topics. One of them was preparation for a celebration of the 75th anniversary of victory in the Second World War, and another topic was the adoption of a convention on exploration and use of space for peaceful purposes. The parties signed agreements on both topics. Topics. Following the meetings, the parties signed nearly 20 agreements. Turkmenistan's Ashgabat will be the next host of the CIS summit in October 2019. Kazakhstan and Singapore have great prospects of cooperation. The countries intend to expand trade and investment ties in green economy, business and logistics. During the 25-year relations between the states, a constructive dialogue has been established in all areas, including education and culture. We have excellent bilateral relations with Kazakhstan that has been long standing. Our founding prime minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, has been to Kazakhstan many times uh, as met your president. We have excellent relations, good economic cooperations, and good people to people relations. And I am sure that in the next few years and decades, we can do more together because when we work together, we can make a big uh, difference. Permanent representative of Singapore to the United Nations, Borhan Gafur, believes that the current mutually beneficial relations will further be strengthened. He also highlights Kazakhstan's role in international affairs and in solving complex problems in the world. Kazakhstan is playing a very active role in the region, in Central Asia, and also on issues uh, like the Middle East and on Syria. Uh, all these are very important contributions not only to the region, but to the international community and to the United Nations. And I must also say that Kazakh diplomacy is a role model for many countries. In the recent years, experts highlighted the growth of Kazakhstan's export to Singapore, which has become a new market for the Kazakh producers. Main export items are oil and petroleum products. In return, Kazakhstan is importing food and products of the chemical industry. As experts highlight, Kazakhstan and Singapore have common goals as prioritizing the economic growth and development of human capital. All types of railway transport from unmanned trams to double-deck sustainable trains were presented at Inno Trans International Fair for Transport Technology in Germany. One of the major innovations of this year is the high-speed rail automobile. The module is capable of speeding up to 500 kilometers per hour and transport six people. The largest railway industry fair was attended by more than 3,000 companies from 60 countries. Kazakh manufacturer October Rail and Sections Works is one of them. The company was looking for new European partners at the fair. На инотрансе очень повышенный интерес непосредственно и к нашим продукциям. Прежде всего. Our products are in high demand at InnoTrans. Kazakhstan's dynamic development and the innovative technologies that we currently apply attracted our partners' attention. Partners from Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia and Finland became very interested. Our partners from France also expressed interest to our products. Это Финляндия. Также проявили повышенный интерес к нам наши партнеры из Франции. Members of the Kazakh delegation held a number of negotiations with foreign partners, and particularly German entrepreneurs mentioned the development of transit traffic in Kazakhstan, including favorable location, modernized infrastructure, and reduction of freight delivery time from China to Europe. This meeting will allow us to strengthen our cooperation. Kazakhstan is an important transit country that increased its potential over the past 10 years. We are partners in container transportation between Europe and China. This year, the International Railway Fair was attended by a record number of visitors. The event organizers registered that 160,000 people from more than 150 countries visited the fair in four days.
Digital transformation is a key factor in the development of the agricultural industry. The latest technologies will help reduce the risks, adapt to the climate change, enhance the agricultural crop's yielding capacity and schedule the field works. Digital transformation provides the opportunity to increase production volumes and boost Kazakhstan's export potential. Meanwhile, the Kazakh agrarians are implementing the elements of precision farming. A pilot project is launched in Kazakhstan involving the crops of two Durham wheat varieties of the Kazakh and Austrian selection. This year is very productive for us because we had many successful research works. We launched the Precision Farming Project this year. As part of the project previously, we conducted research works on 20, 30 or 40 hectares of land. However, this year we allocated about 3,000 hectares of land for the precision farming researches. 3,000 hectares of land is a large area which is close to production area, allowing us to perform trials relevant for the production processes. This year, as part of the Precision Farming Project, we are performing trials on spring wheat with two different varieties of our local selection and we received very good results. The trial results exceeded all expectations as the harvest totaled 60 quintals per hectare. Agrarians believe that the record harvest resulted from implementation of digital technologies that allow enhancing the agricultural production effectiveness. Farmers applied innovative methods as part of the project. As part of this project, we're applying the latest technologies existing in the world. We adapt these technologies to our environment to accelerate the processes. We use advanced technologies including drones, perform digital conversion of the crops and conduct agrochemical surveys. We use drones during special periods. It helps us a lot because phases are very important to tackle many issues such as diseases and stress factors of the plants. Потому что фазы решают многие вопросы, которые э, по заболеваниям, по э, стрессовым факторам, э, по болезням. Another important step is capacity building in digital technologies, particularly in agriculture. According to the government officials, a large amount of work has been performed and foreign experts were involved to train the staff. All these developments will substantially accelerate implementation of information technologies in the agricultural sector. Saving the Aral Sea is a global task. One of the world's richest seas for fish stocks now needs a joint effort from the coastal states of the Central Asian region. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan are conducting a number of measures to recreate the valuable commercial fish species in the sea. In 2010, more than 100 million fry were released into the open reservoir from the Kumasti Bas fish hatchery of the Kislorda region. Previously, only carp were grown in the farm. Now silver carp and white cupid are also bred here. We have improved the process of feeding the fish. We have learned to use the weather conditions in our favor. Thanks to highly qualified specialists and water running into the Kambash Lake, it was possible to reduce the amount of salts. This is good for the growth of fish. Today, eight enterprises of the region are working on fish processing. 80% of their products are export-oriented. Now the Kamasti Bas fish farm is developing new technologies. The capacity and range of production will also soon be increased. We're planning to build a circular water supply shop. We have a biofilter based on which water is purified. Due to this, a new shop will start its work. Then we can grow sturgeon species of fish. Only flounder had lived in the saline waters of the Aral Sea until the measures were taken. Now there are about 20 species of fish in the purified water. Sturgeon breeds specifically. Barbels and Aral thornfish will be grown in the Kamastibas fish hatchery in order to increase ethia fauna.
famous Kyrgyz writer Chinggis Aitmatov's 90th birth anniversary is celebrated in different parts. Conferences and literary events are held in memory of the great writer in his home country of Kyrgyzstan and beyond. Special lessons and performances are held in schools and universities. A major flash mob was performed in one of the schools of Bishkek. We even have a lesson, Aitmat of Studies. We study his works, read and learn them, and answer questions. Chinggis Aitmat have contributed to the development of the Kyrgyz literature and language. There are a number of books about the classic writer. The brilliant talent of the Kyrgyz writer is known and honored all over the world. His works were translated into 176 languages. For example, an excerpt from his novel, The Scaffold, was performed in the Georgian language on the stage of one of the theaters in Tbilisi. <laughs> Readers in Kyrgyzstan and beyond can participate in the World Reads Aitmatov campaign. The project is gaining popularity and there are hundreds of videos on social media featuring people reading Aitmatov's works. <laughs> Tourist potential of Turkestan has grown year by year. A number of foreigners who want to get acquainted with the local sites and culture of the ancient city is increasing. In the first eight months of this year, nearly 900,000 people visited the spiritual capital of the Turkic world, including 32,000 travelers coming from abroad. Most of the foreigners are attracted to the architecture of the Hoja Ahmed Yassawi mausoleum, history of which dates back more than seven centuries. And then here you can see it coming. Мне очень приятно здесь быть, потому что, к сожалению, Казахстан не очень часто в новостях на Западе. Так что мне интересно видеть вашу культуру. I'm very pleased to be here because, unfortunately, Kazakhstan is not very often in our news. So I'm interested to see your culture and to hear the local stories about how people lived here. We were inside this building just now, and it's very large part of the local history. И я вижу, что это очень большая часть локальной истории. According to the forecast, until the end of this year, nearly 2 million tourists will visit Turkestan. A number of social and cultural facilities will be introduced, as well as digital transformation of all monuments will be conducted. During the first eight months of this year, the local businesses received 3,730,000,000 tenge from the flow of tourists. The city will soon be able to see the revival of small and medium-sized businesses focusing on tourism services. A number of innovative projects will be implemented in order to improve tourism infrastructure and the quality of services. In addition, a new international airport and railway station will be built in Turkestan. A high-speed train and the bus route will be launched between Tashkent and Turkestan soon. For a thousand gilded products with images of animals and plants were needed to make a copy of the Shilakti Golden Man. This Golden Man was presented in the Museum of Semei. Artist restorer Krim Altenbeck spent half a year to recreate the exhibit. The Shilakti Golden Man was found in 2004 and dates back to the 7th century BC. He is older than the Essex Golden Man by 400 years. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the Shilakti Golden Man has an important historical significance for us. We have to introduce the people of Seme, our fellow countrymen, visitors of the city and the younger generation, to our history. It is a Kazakh history. Therefore, it is our duty to know the history of the Kazakh people and pass this knowledge to the next generation. <laughs> Astana is hosting a personal exhibition of works by young Kazakh artist Askar Nurbala titled Life. The artist's paintings represent a unique combination of art styles such as realism and impressionism. The majority of the artist's works are performed in a plain air painting style. The artist skillfully demonstrates various coloristic methods in his works that help him accurately depict the reality and fill his works with real life. According to experts, Askar Nurbala's unique outlook is observed in every detail of his works. The collection consists of more than 40 paintings that the young talent created as a result of his experiences and thoughts over the past four years.
Simplicity, environment, and my family are the main ideas of my works. I created my works to demonstrate the values of my family to other families. I want to hold my personal exhibition in the Kastev Museum of Arts. I also want more people to learn about the Kazakh contemporary art. <laughs> I looked at his works and they are wonderful. He applies special methods, a wide range of rich colors. He is developing his unique style. I think that Askar Norbola deserves to become a prominent artist in our country. <laughs> Kazakh singer performs an Italian song in Kazakh. Italian composer Augusto Amicucci composed a song for Kazakh singer Yerzhan Norgaliev. The single, titled Kekoza Fare, is gaining popularity in Russia. Music experts in Moscow call Yerzhan Norgaliev the golden voice of Eurasia. The singer performs neoclassical songs in various languages. However, songs in Kazakh are special among his works. He performed the song Ushkoner in the Kremlin together with People's Artist of Kazakhstan Rosa Baeva and People's Artist of Russia Renat Ibrahimov. <laughs> Было очень э, приятно, что именно на, в таких статусных э, местах, как Кремль, э, звучат казахские песни. И для меня, как человека, который решил перебраться... I was very pleased that the Kazakh songs are performed on prestigious stages such as the Kremlin. It is very encouraging for me as a singer who decided to move to Moscow and build a career in Russia. It is very important for the Kazakh artists to demonstrate our powerful culture. It is important to promote our culture as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program because it encourages the younger generation to focus on our origins. Это очень важно. Потому что наши дети, наши, наше поколение подрастающее, она ориентируется сейчас на наши истоки. Russian artists praised the Kazakh singer's powerful vocal abilities as well as his professionalism. Ушканер песня очень понравилась, мелодичная. С Иржаном мы вдвоем, Нургалием, потому что он был здесь как раз. I really like the song Ушканер. It is very melodic. We started rehearsing the song together with Иржан Нургалиев. Then I called Rosarin Baeva, and we had a wonderful trio. The song was well received by the audience in Moscow. Мне кажется, удачное трио. Люди, зрители очень тепло ее приняли в Москве. Yerjan Orgaliev plans implementing projects abroad that will allow to further promote the Kazakh music and culture among the international audiences. Kazakhstan's Ethnic Assembly held an international ethno-folk jazz festival in Almaty. The festival featured Kazakh music played by a variety of folk and classical instruments and a great range of genres. The symphonies played by the skilled instrumentalists created the authentic environment and sparked the audience's imagination. A crafts fair was held as part of the festival. I think that when all genres of music are represented in a concert, it provides the opportunity to learn from each other. The Kazakh music unites all of us. It is very good that the Kazakh music is performed in different languages and different genres. Our traditional music is new for the people in Germany, Japan or the United States. They discover new music that they haven't heard before. <laughs> People in the Central Asian countries especially honor and preserve the traditions of the ancestors. Even today, customs of the ancient nomads have not lost their relevance. One such custom is folding the blankets. The Central Asian women pay special attention to this craft and to a decoration of the yurt. A chest takes an honorable place in the yurt, on which the blankets are neatly folded. This demonstrates a woman's attention to detail and ability to create comfort at home. Competitions on holding the blankets are held regularly in Kyrgyzstan. If even one blanket is folded incorrectly, the whole pyramid will fall. It is equally important to align the corners. People say if the edges stick out, then the hostess is long-tongued. <laughs> 